We're driving along I-85. It might be a race for the governor's mansion in Georgia, but this is one that the entire country is watching. In the red state of Georgia, where the fish is fried and the tea is sweet, the politics are about as bare knuckle as it comes. This is a battle for the soul of our state, y'all. We have an opponent who is an architect of voter suppression. An historic race in a dead heat. We are Georgia! Partly because of Stacey Abrams, a 44-year-old Democratic leader in the Georgia House. I'm Stacey Abrams, and I'm running for governor who, if elected, would become the first black female state. governor of any state in U.S. history. We want all of Georgia to see themselves reflected in my leadership. And yes, I'll be the first black woman to be a governor in the history of the United States. But what that also means is that I'm opening the door for the next person and the person after that. President Trump captured the state by a little over five points. So here, it seems, the prize is much more than a government title. It just may be for the soul of the South, even as longstanding allegations of voter suppression swirl. The candidates themselves, polar opposites. For the Republicans, Trump backed Brian Kemp, Georgia's current Secretary of State. I got a big truck just in case I need to round up criminal illegals and take them home myself. Yep, I just said that. He's unapologetically conservative, a staunch supporter of the Second Amendment, religious liberty legislation, and stricter immigration laws. We are building a red wall right here in the state of Georgia. Abrams running unabashedly as a progressive, advocating for LGBTQ equality, stricter gun control, and the expansion of Medicaid. There hasn't been a Democratic governor here in more than 15 years. Yes. But you, a black woman progressive, mm -hmm. can change that? Absolutely. Because Georgia has changed over the last 20 years. Our votes! Our votes! For her supporters, our, our Abrams' voices. candidacy is bigger than her. I absolutely think Georgia is ready for a progressive dem Democrat. I mean, this is the birthplace of civil rights. Abrams has attracted major star power. We need to vote for Stacey Abrams. With celebrity endorsements from John Legend and Will Ferrell. Oh, don't go on doors two days. Even Oprah is campaigning with her on Thursday, and former President Obama joining her later this week. Her opponent has used that to his advantage. That is not Georgia values. That is values of California or New York. You've had a lot of funding from outside sources. Are you running a state campaign or a national campaign? We're running a locally, a locally grounded campaign that is nationally known. We have more than five times the number of individual donors from the state of Georgia giving to us. Brian Kemp, a dad of three daughters, has gotten perhaps the only endorsement he needs from the commander in chief himself. President Trump tweeting recently that Kemp will be a great governor and will campaign for him right before the election. That resonated with Ted Badami and his daughter Gianna at a Kemp campaign event here in Jessup, Georgia. Why did you bring your daughter here today? Well, we love Trump and I've listened to some of the things uh, that I've heard him say and it's right along line with uh, my conservative values. Hey, hey how are you? Good to see you, too. I'm George. His campaign declined our request for a formal interview, so we caught up with him at one of his events. Hey, Pretty reliably conservative on. state. How can it be so tight when you're facing a, an admitted progressive? Well, I think the race right now, you know, it's been a lot of momentum on the Democratic side all around the country. The Republican base was just not real motivated. That changed a couple of weeks ago. At the heart of this battle for Georgia's future, what critics say is a blatant attempt by Republicans to intimidate voters of color. Emmett Bondurant, a longtime civil rights lawyer, says he's watched it happen for decades. There is a history of voter suppression, not only here, but nationwide. In fact, an AP report found 53,000 voter registration applications are on hold thanks to a so-called exact match law requiring applicants' information to exactly match other government records. So a misplaced hyphen or middle initial can stall an application and a vote. As Secretary of State, Kemp is the architect of that law, saying he's trying to prevent voter fraud. You yeah, talked about you all the votes. Go. What about voter suppression? People are saying that well, majority that's a, votes. That's a myth. That is a myth that the, the Democrats bring out every two years. We have record number of people on our voting rolls. But there's this detail. The majority of those 53,000 voter applications are overwhelmingly minority voters, voters who often choose Democrats 
most of those voters can still cast a ballot as long as they bring a photo ID to the polls. So what do you say to those who say that you're trying to suppress the vote? What do you say? I'm not trying to excuse us. we got to go. numbers don't lie about that fact. Minority participation is up 23 percent in Georgia, 23 percent. That's what you should report and not believe this BS about voter suppression. Whether it's five people or 5,000 people or 50,000 people, his job is to guarantee that every Georgian who is eligible gets registered to vote. And instead, he has purged them. Exact match doesn't just apply to registrations. There's also a signatures requirement, allowing officials to toss absentee ballots and applications if a signature doesn't match the one on file. The ACLU and other groups have filed lawsuits claiming hundreds of absentee ballots and applications were tossed. A judge halted that practice last week, and Kemp appealed, calling absentee voting a privilege and a convenience. College student Lana Goitia was eager to cast her absentee ballot, especially as a Latina voter. It's pretty exciting to have the opportunity to have a say in, in some big decisions for our state. Her class and work schedule wouldn't allow her to make the hour drive to vote in person. I have made sure to fill it out correctly and then sent it in, and then probably about two weeks after I sent it in is when I got noticed that it had been rejected. I think votes like mine are ones that scare, you know, Secretary Kemp. She was told her signatures didn't match. I wasn't given a process to, you know, fix my ballot or have it reinstated prior to the rejection. Under the Voting Rights Act, states which had a history of voter disenfranchisement were monitored by the federal government. But a 2013 Supreme Court ruling undid that requirement. You've been on this case for a long time. Do you feel like we're going backwards? I am both surprised and disappointed that we're going in the opposite direction of making it harder for people to vote. A federal study looked at those southern states and examined five kinds of voter suppression tactics. Georgia, the study says, was the only state to have adopted all five. Mr. Kemp has created an atmosphere of fear around the right to vote in the state of Georgia. Abrams calling on her opponent to step down, but Kemp is standing firm. I took an oath of office to serve as Secretary of State, and that's exactly what I'm going to continue to do. I'm doing the exact same thing that Democrat Kathy Cox was doing when she was running for governor. Their fate is now in the hands of voters. He believes in the same values that I do. He's conservative, uh, uh, believes in the Second Amendment, uh, lower taxes, and, and just believes in the same type of, of conservative things that I do. Stacey Abrams represents the future of Georgia as I want to see it. It's time for women and people of color to be in power. It's clear Georgians are eager to decide the future of their state, as long as that unalienable right, the right to vote, is not taken away. For Nightline, I'm Deborah Roberts in Noonan, Georgia. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.